The Home Secretary is calling for an urgent ban on American XL bully dogs, describing the breed as a clear and lethal danger. A warning, these pictures show a dog attack. Swella Braverman's move comes after an XL bully launched a rampage in the streets of Birmingham on Saturday morning, an 11-year-old girl for chasing down two men who were trying to stop the attack. So, should American XL bully dogs be banned? To discuss this, we're joined by dog trainer Kay Tawa with her XL bully, Niger. Yeah, and, and we also have the dog behaviourist, Stan uh, Rawlinson, who joins us uh, from Surrey. Good morning to all of you. Um, morning. Good morning. Uh, and thanks for bringing uh, your dog in as well. Um, I feel quite nervous about it. Do you get that a lot? I mean, I, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. sitting further back. I actually, I, may, I, I feel yeah. quite, um, okay. my shackles are up, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're feeling that way maybe because of the news mm. and um, things that some people who have never had any experience with the actual breed, um, they have a lot to say. I understand that obviously the attacks are serious and it makes sense for people to feel worried, but I think we really need to think about where is the problem actually coming from because there's way too many XL bullies for us to say they're the most dangerous breed in the world. We would be having attacks every day if that well, was the case. there have been nine deaths in the UK in the yeah. last two years. That sounds like an awful it lot, is a lot to me. It is a lot. one breed of dog. I think it's because of the fashion of the dog. It's What's that, that everybody wants an XL bully. Everyone and their mom, friends, cousin, sister, everyone has an XL bully. And everyone's almost breeding an XL bully. That's the quick get rich scheme right now when it comes to the dog game. How much are they worth? During COVID times, you would get a dog like this for like 3K, 4K. Like now times, you know, it's a bit difficult, so mm. it's reduced. So maybe you can still 1K, right. 2K, yeah. Stan, um, the numbers on um, dog attacks are very shocking, actually. The um, episodes of people going to hospital for dog attacks have doubled since 2007. There was, uh, in 2007, there were 1,900 victims who required an operation. That's gone up to 3,200 in the Lakers figures for last year. I mean, that's a massive rise. That can't all be blamed, can it, on this particular breed of XL uh, bully dogs? Is there a bigger problem going on? And uh, is it potentially what's going on that these XL bullies are being scapegoated? Okay, yeah, there is a bigger, there is a bigger picture, Ed, uh, and the bigger picture is very simple. Lockdown. Lockdown meant that uh, people couldn't socialise their dogs during a critical period of zero to 16 weeks. It's an important, the most important period of the dog's life. Because we were locked down, those dogs couldn't be mixed with children, with people, with other dogs, and therefore the level of aggression comes in. However, uh, a little couple of uh, facts for you. In the last three years, uh, deaths through dog attacks has leapt up enormously. Now, the big figure is 75% of those deaths were caused by XL bullies. 75%. That is ludicrous. That is totally off the scale. Yeah. And, um... The average death... Sorry, I won't put it. No, no, carry on. Uh, the average uh, amount of deaths every year is two and a half. Last year it was 10. It's six already this year. And the year before that, it was four. Uh, so we've really shot up. Uh, and the problem is we get a lot of people that say, the, the, hang on a second here, you know, it's not the dog's fault, it's the owner's fault. That mantra by the... Uh, uh, the late and not so great Barbara Woodhouse. She was a bit of a, a bit heavy handed with dogs, to put it mildly, but she coined no dogs, uh, no bad dogs, only bad owners. It's actually totally untrue. And the other thing that these people spout is scientific knowledge says that uh, these dogs do not, are no more aggressive than any other dogs. Absolutely and totally rubbish. And can I just make In the, clear? to viewers that you were uh, called as an expert witness for the 1991 um, Dangerous Dogs Act, weren't you? I mean, you deal with dangerous dogs. You're not just a dog behaviourist. I mean, you, you, you spend your time looking at this deeply. 
I'm a specialist in it. And so I have to assess both temperament and for breed type. Uh, and I'll be honest with you, I have probably uh, assessed over the years just about every single solitary breed. But at this moment in time, it would be the only dog I'd refuse to assess. I think they're far too reactive. They are bred reactive. to be aggressive. Well, Kay they here is shaking her head, as you might expect. Yes, let's, you let's just get Kay to, to give her point of view here. And how hard... Do you accept any of what Stan is saying there, that actually you can be as good a, an owner as you want to be, but this particular dog has it bred into them to be overreactive and to go for the throat? I mean, that's what they do. And it's, it, 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 you can be as good as you want as a trainer, and I'm sure you are. Yeah. Clearly you are. Your dog is docile <laughs> yeah. at the moment. The thing is, I... this behaviour is it's breed standard. These breeds are not... If I bought my Doberman here, higher energy, maybe a bit more like, yeah, these dogs don't want to jump about the place. You go online and you see people who own these dogs, they will tell you that the dog is calm. I think a person that doesn't assess the dogs, doesn't train the dogs, so you don't really have any close relationship apart from the statistics, like you right now, he's the same as you to no, me. No, no, because... Stan actually, Stan, just be clear, Stan does physically get, interact with dogs. No, no, he, yeah, he, that's, no that's fine, but I think he's, he's been very clear that he doesn't assess XL bullies. But he doesn't is, work Kay. with XL bullies. But the thing but is, Kay, look, um, let, let, let him sorry. come back. I have. Go on, Stan. I'm sorry, the XL Bully has been around for since 1980 when it was created in America by the hip hop uh, and the gangster rap type situation. They wanted a big aggressive thing that could hide their stash, could do this, could do that, could do the other, and was an extension of their egos. This dog is not a nice dog. If it was a nice dog, we wouldn't have them facts. Another fact is two, this dog is 270 times more likely to kill than any other breeds. And I have to tell your guest there one thing. Yeah, really important. The last, at least three of the victims in 2022, since 2022, have experienced, they're really experienced dog handlers, including Adam Watts, who had decades of experience rehabilitating abused dogs, were killed. So He's a trainer. Be, he's giving a warning to you there that perhaps you're not safe around your own no. dog. Come on. The thing is, Kay, you know, the fact is 75% oh. of these deaths have been caused by XL bullies. That's, yes. that's a fact. 100%. And there's been a big rise in those numbers. Now, if you take, you know, people who die in a gun attack, uh -huh. it's not the gun's fault. Uh -huh. It's the owner of the gun. Yeah, yeah. But we've decided to ban handguns uh -huh. because handguns are so dangerous. And if we take that approach to handguns, if the facts say... XL bullies are the dogs which are killing people. Uh -huh. Isn't the responsible thing for society to do to say, own other dogs, don't own the killer dog? Um, I think, with similar to the example you just gave there, like nitrous oxide right now, they're about to ban that, right? Because it's now becoming an illegal substance because people are misusing the substance. It's not, it wasn't created for the misuse that it's being used for. It's created for baking, for the right things. If people misuse it, now the government has to think of how can we make it safer? for people. How can we legislate this or manage this better so people are not misusing mm. this? So, same thing goes. This dog is not bred or made to be an ultra-aggressive dog. Because of the high rise oh, of people sorry, buying I'm this sorry, particular breed, number wrong. one, because of the exactly fact that multiple people for. are breeding them for a get-rich... So people don't walk around our streets with guns because yeah. they're dangerous and we think we should ban them because people die from them, even if people... Um, are well trained in handling mm -hmm. things properly. I'm not sure if we so, ban handguns, why don't we ban killer dogs? Okay, so what is a killer dog, though? Well, any, it turns dog, can, out, any dog can be a killer dog. On the basis of the recent evidence, XL bullies. So, but are you telling me that I'm just saying a German Shepherd that has way more higher strength that the police yeah. use is not I'm just able saying to? 75% of the deaths were so, XL bullies, and they've, there'd be a lot more deaths. So, what you're saying, your 75% is based on the high rise of people buying this dog. You have a cockapoo, mm. and cockapoos have cocker rates. Yeah, I mentioned and that, that earlier that in is, the show. That is a constant thing that they do have. Oh, yeah. It is a th resource guarding. Uh, they bite the most. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. a cockapoo can kill a child, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Jack you, Russell, you can a I've, Chihuahua. Yeah. These are so they any do. dog can be a killer dog by the wrong person. Except you you make an interesting yeah. point. Um, and we asked you on uh, Twitter uh, uh, if is it still called Twitter? 
Yeah, is it called X? X, yeah. Whatever. Let's not call it Twitter. Whatever it is. We asked you if you thought XL bullies should be banned. 80% of you said yes, they should be banned. 20% uh, mm. said no. Can we just say thank you to you? Thank you. Uh, and clearly a responsible doctor. Because Nigel has been beautifully behaved. <laughs> yeah, it has actually. And also to Stan, uh, who is thank our uh, dog behaviourist uh, expert. Uh, who I'm sure you would have come in the studio. You didn't uh, refuse to come in the studio because we had a dog in the studio. I no, heard, I didn't. But, uh... no there, 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 there is a reason for it. I don't refuse. No, no, to come no, in that's the fine. Studio. That's fine. I, but I, I, I appreciate. Yeah, I appreciate your time this morning. Okay.